Consumer sentiment fell 7.6% in the past week to a 15-month low and the lowest level or perhaps the highest glumness level for January since 1992 when we were deep in recession and Billy Ray Cyrus was number one with achy, breaky heart. Usually spirits are up in January in the afterglow of Christmas and New Year and with most of us down the beach, but not this year. Omicron has made sure of that. Banks dragged the share market a bit lower today, but there were a few decent gains. JB Hi-Fi up nearly 8% after a better than expected sales report for the half year to December, with management reporting that people are spending up on TVs, computers and smart home technology as they nest at home. Ampol told the market it would post the biggest quarterly revenue in four years, and South32 said there's a zinc boom coming. Wall Street was closed for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. European markets rose while Tokyo fell. Iron ore fell while iron, oil and base metals went up. And the Australian dollar fell slightly to just below 72 US cents. Here's a chart of a global supply chain pressure index produced by the US Federal Reserve. And as you can see, there's been nothing like this for decades. They reckon the index has peaked, but that's a pretty small drop at the end there, so we'll see. And finally, further on inflation and interest rates, the Federal Reserve basically sets cash rates for the world. And at the moment, there's a big disagreement between the market and the Fed. The purple dots are what the members of the Fed's board think will happen to rates. The orange line is what the market thinks. Someone's wrong. And it's probably the market because members of the Fed will actually decide. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.